Hello again, Cordova Meadows and White Rock students. On the second jumping video, we're going to talk about jumping rope. It's another skill we practice all the time at both schools. Now, as always, we're going to do some warmer movements. Last class, we did our scoots. Today, we're going to do our crab walk. And for the crab walk, I want you guys taking small little steps, moving the hands and feet together. Go forward a few times, and then turn around and go backwards a few times. A lot, of just, a lot of you just like to do one of them. Let's try both directions and get better at both. This will help us get into this deep squat position, which we use to land a jump. So let's practice those again, okay? Now, normally we just touch our hands at fingertips between our legs. Let's see if we can get to a point where we can get our palms to the ground between our legs, which is going to get us deeper into that squat. Practice that about 10, 15 times. Then... Because we're gonna practice a jump rope, I wanna start working on bouncing. So to bounce, to practice bouncing, instead of going forward, I want you guys to find a spot on the floor and relax your bodies completely and try to get as tall as you can and try to bounce in place. <laughs> totally relax, bouncing in place. Try not to jump too high. Just lightly bounce in place. The less your feet come off the ground, the better, okay? Do that for a minute or two. Then we're ready to jump rope. Now, I'm gonna use the extra long Mr. Ramos rope. You use whatever you can find. A rope works too. Any type of rope works, right? And you're gonna do this. We all know the rules. And remember, you can't do the regular one, bouncing in place helps, but I'd rather you practice this first. So the first one is, remember the main rules of jumping rope. We stay tall, we keep our hands outside, and we jump as little as possible, okay? So by staying tall, I mean we're not going to bend over as we whip the rope. And by keeping our hands outside, well, we're not going to bring them in. So the first skill you practice is the flip and catch. We flip and we catch. See? I stay tall so I can easily flip and catch it. If I bend over and bring my hands in, it's gonna hit over there and I won't be able to pull it back. So stay tall, flip and catch. Only when that's easy do I want you guys working on jumping the rope. Try to stay in the same spot. And again, we need to stay tall and jump in the same spot. The taller I stay, the easier it is for me to bounce, and the easier it is for me to turn that rope on my sides. Small circles are faster. Little jumps are faster. And it's going to get that rope turning faster and faster and make it easier for you to jump rope. Remember, practice bouncing first in the same spot, then flip and catch, then try, try to jump the rope. Have a great day, and like I said in the other videos, I miss you guys. And I hope you have fun and you with these uh, little PE lessons to keep your PE skills sharp. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.